Well, Harbor Freight has taken all our money again. Nick had some drawers fall out of his old toolbox that he had for, uh, my guess is at least eight years now. At least. And uh, yeah, some of the drawers have been falling out, so uh, it's time to get a new box. So it's yellow. So he got the uh, Series 3 toolbox from Harbor Freight. And you know, they had a 20% off coupon today, so it, it was the best time to buy it. And you know we had to go yellow to match the Jeeps. As you can see, we only have the bottom box. Uh, we're too poor to buy the top box. And the bottom box is what broke on his other box. So we're going to have mismatched to toolboxes for a little bit. Yeah, right, Sage? Uh -huh. So anyways, Nick's going to organize all his tools and get this toolbox loaded up in this video. So keep on watching. More importantly, get rid of junk out of my old toolbox. So. So first off, here's the Jeeps, both of my yellow Jeeps, just to show how much we like yellow. We have two yellow dogs too, technically. And a couple glamour shots, you know, of the toolbox. But anyways, here's the video of Nick going through his toolbox and reorganizing his tools. I think I'm gonna move out of my lower box here and switch it over to my new one. Uh, you can see <laughs> this is kind of most of what fell out of my socket door. And uh, kind of just tossed it up there for now, but uh, yeah, right now I kind of just got a pile of stuff in pretty much every drawer here. Uh, kind of parcel through this and get it switched over. Just a sad toolbox that once had a drawer, now gone. I have had this box for a really long time. It paid for itself 10 times over it. I think I paid like 400 bucks for this top and bottom like 10 years ago. Uh, it's, it's been a tank. I've moved shops with it a few times. It's, it's been great to me. So for something that just holds on to tools, it's served me well, but I have heard some really, really good stuff about these new, uh, series three boxes. So we'll see, uh, if that holds true. I'll definitely, <laughs> Definitely be putting a bunch of stuff in it. Hopefully I can get rid of some of the junk in it, this one currently, so. I think first and foremost, I'm gonna get this top cleaned off because I don't want to have to mess with it once I do get everything else switched over. So I'll get all this stuff kind of at least put off to the side for now and kind of see what good treasures I find. Like I can already see some some lockouts that I know I don't own an ax or axle that belongs to and just some odds and ends, some stuff I've been meaning to get parts ordered for. PSC, can I order this? PSC? Oh, let me see what I can come up with and uh, go from there. Perfect. All right, so at least now with that cleaned off, it's that much lighter because you know, these drawers aren't too loaded up. Yeah. So that shouldn't be too bad to switch over now. But there's one theme that I can say. I am by far a professional mechanic. I do not put tools away in a clean and organized manner, mostly because I do this after work. I'm just constantly working on stuff. And this box really became just like an overflow of like the tools that I don't always need, but can't justify getting rid of. So a lot of this stuff is things that I don't necessarily reach for all the time. I have a separate cart for that where I keep all my like, you know, everyday tools out kind of deal. So. For the most part, a lot of this stuff is kind of specialty or just kind of odds and ends, like tools that were just too nice to, to toss kind of deal. So it's kind of how I'm going to treat this in the new box even, because again, it's not like I'm working out of this, you know, for my living. At one point, I, I even picked up one of these wrench racks, you know, to, to kind of organize stuff. I mean, maybe I'll toss some of that in this since I have it here, but... I know the, the reason this is empty where it is is because I stopped using it 
because it took too much time to put things away in it. So uh, I'll start kind of, I'll empty this out. If I see anything cool, I'll, I'll stop and let you know. Maybe with any luck, I can see some tools that are just actually junk and I can just get rid of them. <laughs> These are <laughs> vice grips that I broke. I broke that and tried to re-weld it back together. What, what am I ever, in an automotive setting, gonna need these for? Like these, what am I, What? A, when is the last time any real person that's worked on something used these for? These are like, you know, you toss these in your junk drawer at home, you know? Ooh, these, these were a road find too. Picked those up on the side of the road one day. The Robo Grip. I remember watching the infomercial. Who remembers that? So, just just for quickly, because I'd like to get this done in a timely manner. I got other stuff to do today. Uh, I kind of just separated them, you know, a little bit. I'll uh, decide if I'm gonna actually put them back in this rack a different day. Some of them. This this might go. I bought these because I wanted the crescent wrench that was a big opening. And for a little wrench, you can get that open quite a bit, but they're kind of pretty cheap. So I was thinking that might be good for, for jam nuts on control arms, actually, but I ended up finding a better one. <laughs> so that one might... I don't know if I'll ever use that one again. This drawer is a little bit more... a little bit more meat and potatoes in here. Uh, this is kind of like my doubles and triples of my metric stuff. Uh... So that's why there's really not a whole ton in here. Most of my metric I keep in my service cart because that, that's kind of my go-to for, for all my tools is in that. Uh, got a bunch of line wrenches, both uh, English and metric. And I won't get rid of the, the actual holders for them, but I won't put them back in them. So uh, same with these. These I picked up. I thought I was really going to like these. Uh, was hoping to basically turn them into my junkyard set of wrenches because it was just nice box end wrenches and it turns out the offset's pretty weird to use and I didn't really like it so much but they're icon and they've been a good wrench I've definitely used them and all they're they're decent but if they were just straight I wish they just made a, a not, no offset double box down that that'd be nice be a lot nicer to carry you know six wrenches as opposed to it's 12. <laughs> Tell you what, these are the kinds of things that you, you just can't live without. When push came to shove and I had to take a wrench and cut it in half, you know. It's nice to not have to make that decision more than once. These, I hang on to these all the time too. I'm sure I'll find some more of these at some point. Just big flat wrenches. They're really good at getting into somewhere when you need it. Uh, I'm gonna go down. Down a drawer, and this is all my English stuff. Again, this is basically a bunch of wrenches that I don't generally reach for because pretty much everything I work on is metric anymore, it seems like. And I got a bunch of just, you know, good old school USA made stuff, SK, you know, Craftsman. Like, I always, I always was picking up double boxed ends because I just like not having to carry a bunch of extras. Double open ends, though. Those mean bad times. Usually you're working on hydraulic stuff and that sucks. <laughs> All right, I know I got wrenches in one more drawer here. Here we go. I really should do something to kind of organize these a little bit better. I was kind of thinking I might pick up some wire racks that, that I could, uh, put in here and kind of just keep all the, the wrenches kind of separated together so that way I'm not just making a big mess out of all of it. I, I know I think I put the order in so hopefully Amazon's got those on the way but technically it uh, might not be here for a few more days so till then this will be fine. This is my files and kind of some scrapers and kind of some odds and ends crow's foot that I just seen. Uh, I think I'll probably combine this drawer and this drawer together. This is just like a bunch of punches and chisels and stuff. These are just a bunch of, you know, all different kinds. Round, 
uh, you know, this is a nice, a little bit finer, some, some half rounds, a little bit coarser. Uh, a couple handles and whatnot just hanging out. But, uh, tell you what, they're, they're nice to have. Same, same with like even this, this is a busted uh, half inch drive uh, ratchet that I couldn't justify getting rid of the handle because I figured I'll use it for something. Yeah, this, uh, this golf ball does look weird, but uh, I'll tell you what, when you need it, a file that doesn't have a handle, there's, there's nothing better than tossing a golf ball with a hole in it on there, because at least you got something to hang on to then, and you're not just get, digging that into your palm. I'll toss it up there for now. Yeah, this drawer. This drawer's got a lot of stuff. Let's see, Let's see if these will fit. Believe it or not, this was one of the old style uh, snap-on orange handles, the infamous ones, the ones that you looked at them wrong and the handle would just fall off. But turns out brass hammers are pretty pricey and they're, it's nice to have it when you need it. I can't tell you how many times this thing saved me. I beat, I beat the snot out of some stuff with this thing. <laughs> like I even, pretty much once I designate something, something to beat on, it just went in this drawer, even this big bolt. I'm sure that fit down somewhere I didn't have a nice big flat punch to get into and so this is what the uh the files and punches kind of look like for now in here this is a drawer that's kind of got my a little bit more miscellaneous uh tools that you need but don't always need uh a lot of you know I got a, at least a, hand, a couple of uh, alignment tools for clutches I believe that one's off my truck it's uh I'll do a dual disc uh, south bend if I remember correct. Uh, oh yeah, that's a borrowing tool for the Cummins too. Uh, I got a bunch of just kind of odds and ends. Like this was uh, for setting some timing. Uh, I did a Jeep Liberty. I haven't had a Jeep Liberty. <laughs> a little diesel Jeep Liberty that we did the timing on. Uh, but like, you know, stuff that you need, but you just don't necessarily always not always reaching for it. This was a little bit deeper of a drawer, so I think I'm gonna do the same thing on the new box, put it in the, a little bit deeper drawer. It's a brake line flaring, part of a brake line flaring tool. And like, I know a lot of this stuff I kind of kept on, even though I know I don't generally reach for it. Like, oh yeah, this, uh, this is gonna go over for sure. This, uh, this is a soldering iron. I very rarely use this anymore. Well, this is again more of that Liberty when I was doing that timing. That that thing sucked. That was a pain. Diesel should not have timing belts. Kind of put these in somewhat of a little bit of an order. Some of the stuff I don't, don't really go for too often, so I'm going to put that towards the back. For now. Yeah, that, that, that'll do. This bottom drawer, this one's got some goodies in it for sure. This uh, this is tire patching stuff. Yep. But nice to have when you need it. Got that first aid kit that's covered in dust and dirt, so you know I don't use that. A uh, bunch of cutoff wheels, that's kind of nice. Actually, a bunch of cutoff wheels, sweet. Look at that, a bunch of cutoff wheels. These books. I I don't really care so much about this Chevy one. I don't think I'll be buying one of them anytime soon. Actually. These Cummins manuals though, I do not want those to get wrecked. So I am gonna toss those in my new box. Uh, that's an entire breakdown of all sorts of Cummins stuff. Oh, and I know what all this is. This, uh, this was all sorts of my receipts and parts breakdown stuff of my last truck, my second gen that I had. Uh, I'm probably going to hang on to most of that. Oh, a bunch of stickers too. Sweet. Holy buddy goody right there. And probably, oh yeah, hypertherm manual, some, some scratch pads, a mower manual. Oh yeah. So I got a couple more of these. This, I don't know. I'll hang on to them mostly just to hope and pray that the other books don't get wrecked. But uh, looking at that stuff in here, it's 
you know, again, I, I just don't want to ruin those books. And if I put them anywhere else, they'll get wet, I'm sure. Kind of a bummer. In the other box, this drawer was a lot deeper, so I could stand them up. Have a little bit more room in there, but, eh, what are you going to do? This is the last drawer. This one's always been kind of a catch-all for just kind of odds and ends. Uh, like this stud welder. I hate to say it, I don't think that needs to go in my new box. Uh, this old angle grinder, I don't think that one's going in there. Look in there. Look at there's beans. What do you see? Anything good? Nothing good, huh? This is actually mostly junk. Hey, it looks like a lot of junk. What do you think, Sage? Anything good in there? Yeah, Dad, don't get rid of anything. Yeah, I don't think anything... I don't really think anything needs to go in the box from that drawer. Oh, this is a good one. I made this the other day. This uh, drain plug on my uh, transmission on the Comanche, it's a square drive, but not a 3 8 ratchet square drive. It's some crazy custom, so I just took a bolt and ground it down. Hang on to that. I'll probably use that again. Well, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it for now. I need some better socket rails. These are just cheapy Harbor Freight ones, and at least call that good. Same with like this. This is good enough for now. Well, I decided to organize them up a little bit. I think I actually, yeah, I got a couple empty drawers still. Look at that. I actually got a lot of empty drawers in this box. How did I end up with less stuff? Add more stuff there, that's for sure. More used ratchets will go over here. Keep all the extensions and stuff in that drawer, maybe. Sort of turning into like a clean out my tool cart too. See, but like, this is like my using tools. I use these tools all the time. That's why they kind of lived over here. Like this is my, like, I use this junk drawer, not just like a junk drawer. This is actually just a junk drawer. I just got to put tools away. I, I got a bunch out right now. That overview of the drawers in, in this box then. Quick overview. So I got a nice big deep socket drawer now. Feels like it's halfway sturdy. Big wrench drawer. Got to figure something out with these. Uh, move into these smaller drawers. Kind of, this is like oddball ratchets, wrenches, extensions. You know, some three-quarter inch drive stuff just ratchets that i'm just not usually reaching for uh this is files and punches this is like my oddball can't get rid of it tools drawer but when you need them you need them it turns out a rivet gun is about the only thing that'll do a rivet gun's job this is uh my manuals and all that kind of stuff uh so this one i still got plenty of room in i definitely could do some more right husky sets i got a couple of these floating around but it's nice because they stay halfway organized if you have them in this thing but this thing probably won't fit in this drawer of course so that's kind of not gonna work figure some more out with that i'm sure i'll fill it up flyers and oddball stuff needle noses nippers you know good stuff uh and then i think i will keep this just kind of devoted to uh, batteries and my power tools at least i can keep them all in one spot now and uh and this is just like my more boxed up stuff a couple of my more specific electrical 
stuff, power probe, uh, temperature gun, stuff like that. So I think for now that's gonna kind of wrap it up until I muscle this top box off. So I guess maybe I will try and put this top box on here. All right, let's see if I can transplant this thing. Oh, yeah. Well, just like that, I guess. That's the new setup. Well, that's, that's the new setup there. Maybe to come a, a top box. It looks so dumb in black. <laughs> nah, I'll, uh, I gotta figure something out. Somebody. Somebody please tell me a better way to organize these sockets. There's got to be something. Same with the wrenches. I just, I just can't justify spending a bunch of time walking over here and putting wrenches away. I think this will suffice me for now. I'll, I'm sure I'll change some stuff around and realize that I hate some of the stuff I did. And I guess for now that's it. <laughs> my, my tools are semi put away. I still have a lot more to put away. I would like to try and condense a couple other... I got... I mean, just from where I'm standing, I have... One box at my welder, one box on my welding table. I got a box over here. I got, I got a lot of tools and it would be nice to just keep them all in one spot, but I hate to pack this thing too full and then be disappointed that it's so packed up. I will say I like, this is gonna be the thing I like most is just keeping all my power tools in one drawer. That'll be nice. So for now, I think that'll do it. Somebody tell me better ways to do what I just did. Appreciate it. Thanks. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here.